President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan could erase thousands of dollars in debt for millions of borrowers across the country. But depending on what state you live in, you might still have to pay up on tax day. Arkansas, Minnesota, Mississippi, North Carolina and Wisconsin are all on track to tax student debt forgiveness as income. That's according to the Tax Foundation. Of course, those states can always change their laws to exempt student loans. Jared Walzak joins us now. He is vice president of state projects at the Tax Foundation. Jared, welcome. Thank you for being with us. Can you walk us through why some states treat debt forgiveness the same as income, but the federal government does not? What's really changed here is that before now, the federal government and basically all states treated debt forgiveness as income. There was a change at the federal level last year saying that between 2021 and 2025, if student loan debt were forgiven, if it were discharged, then that would not be treated as income at the federal level. And most states follow what the federal government does, the way their tax codes conform. But if they don't, if they're behind on conformity or do it differently, then they're not adopting that change. So let's say you are one of these people who's had your student loans forgiven, but you live in one of these states that will tax that forgiveness. Uh, how prepared should you be for a significant one-time payment on your next tax bill? Uh, or how will that taxation occur? It will be a one-time payment. It would be basically on the assumption that you have assumed all of this benefit in one year at the moment you've received it. So if you get $10,000 in debt forgiveness, obviously you would have made those payments over a number of years, but it's $10,000 of income in one year and you'd mm. pay the tax on that. That's a big chunk. That is a big chunk. Well, you know, some states have said that they need to take another look at their own laws to confirm if they will tax student loan forgiveness. Why is there all this uncertainty around whether forgiving student debt is taxable? Because it's complex. Uh, states often don't have their own definitions or they have provisions that are ancillarily related. So California, for instance, does not conform to federal law here. That would usually mean that it's taxable. But they have an old law in the books for some forms of student loan debt discharge. And some California officials, I think most of them are saying, we're going to find a way to shoehorn it in here and it's going to be OK. And others are saying, we're not so sure. Maybe we'd need to change the law. And other states, they're saying, administratively, we think we can fix that. Pennsylvania is one. Where where there's been an administrative claim that they will solve this, even though the code doesn't really imply it. But this has to be worked out. So there's five where it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. But there's other states where this is still in the wind because you have officials saying, don't worry, we think we have it under control. But the law is not quite clear. And Jared, do you have any advice then if, if you do have that one-time tax bill that's a little too hefty for you to pay all at once? Can you apply to the government to spread out that tax payment over a series of years? This is the same as any other income tax. It's just part of your income tax liability. So, I mean, there are ways that you can make payments, but generally speaking, you owe in the year in which you've earned income. Fortunately for most people, we're talking about a burden of maybe $500 or so. It's a lot, but if you're getting $10,000 in loan forgiveness, most will take that deal. But it's still something you have to be prepared for because you're not getting $10,000 in your checking account. Mm -hmm. And you do have this tax burden that's going to show up at the state level. It's good to know about it. You certainly yes. have to be prepared. All right. right, Jared Walzak, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it.